Welcome back to Editing with iMovie for iPad. Today we're going to talk about adjusting the sound on our interview and our B-roll clips. So first we want to take a listen to the sound of our interview. If I tap on the uh, video clip, I'm going to select play and listen along. This is an exciting venture that a lot of students throughout the city are going on together. It's the gateway to change movement. Okay, that sounds really good, but let's say I wanted to increase the volume. Now, when you interview with an iOS device, an iPad or an iPhone, without a microphone, you are going to want to increase the sound, um, most likely. So what you would do is select the clip, and at the bottom of the screen, you see volume. Tap on volume. And now you see that 100% mark, you've got your volume meter. I can move it to the right to raise it. Exciting venture that a lot of students throughout the city are going on together. Now that's way too loud, so I need to lower it. So I'll go back, tap on the clip, and just slide that uh, circle to the left. That a lot of students throughout the city are going on together. It's the gateway to change. So maybe that's too soft, so I'll go back and adjust it back to about 100%, which is what it was. Now, again, don't count on the 100% default um, with your interview. You may need to raise that volume. Now, another thing you may have noticed is that when we added the video clips, the B-roll video clips, it muted the uh, sound from those clips. Take a listen. A lot of students throughout the city are going on together. It's the gateway. So... We're hearing Drew talk, but we're seeing the images of the students. Uh, if I tap on the B-roll clip, you'll notice in the volume that it is muted. However, if I want to slightly add some sound back in from those B-roll clips, I can just move it to the right a tiny bit. And a good rule of thumb is to have the sound subtly in the background, somewhere between 5% and 20% so that we don't drown out the interview sound, which is the most important. You're going on together. It's the gateway to change movement. And we can just kind of have that slowly play in the background. But if you look at the next clip, if I tap on it, see it's muted. I can just slightly add some video, or I'm sorry, sound back in by sliding the circle to the right. Uh, it's somewhere between five and 20%, and, uh, and that would suffice. Coming up next on editing with iMovie for the iPad, we will add B-roll clips at the beginning and the end of the story and use their natural sound to blend in the beginning, to fade out at the end, and to overlap with our interview to tell a really terrific story.